Hey there guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Shift. In the last episode we completed the Invitational Event, the Time Eliminator at Glendale West. And now there is only one more Invitational Event left for us to do. And then we can move on to the highly anticipated Tier 2. <laughs> We've been waiting on this for a while so let's go ahead and get rid of this final Invitational Event. Which I am very excited to play. Um, this is the Carrera GT race at SPA Grand Prix. So I'm very excited to get up in the Porsche Carrera GT because all the other Need for Speed games that I played, I love to get the Porsche Carrera vehicle. It was one of my favorite. Uh, it is my favorite Porsches, but one of my favorite cars of all time. So we're going to go ahead and jump up in it and see what it's like in this game. So this is a actual race. Um, we will get three stars for the podium finish, two stars for the points threshold, and one star for a clean lap. Clean lap meaning that you do not go off the track. Alright, so the rewards for first place is $40,000, which is excellent. The restrictions is a Porsche Carrera GT. There's currently uh, not, no record for best time because we haven't raced it yet. Over on the right, we can get the layout of the track. It's pretty long. The laps are, it's going to be a three lap race, and the distance is 4.33 miles. The name of the track is the SPA Grand Prix. So it's going to be a pretty lengthy race, but it's awesome because we're in the Porsche Carrera GT. It really gives us time to actually push the Carrera GT to its limits, see how it handles on curves, and see what its acceleration is like in case you want to buy this car in the future. So once you have looked over everything, go ahead and start it up. We've got an unbelievable opportunity. How'd you like to race a Carrera GT at Spa? Look at the stats on this thing. The car rating is 15.00. Really good. Uh, the top speed, acceleration, handling, and braking is way up there. This is a tier 4 vehicle. The drivetrain is real, real rear wheel drive and it's got a horsepower of 16, 612 a very great car and if you look at the uh, visual of the car this car is such good looking man it's so sexy man that thing is beautiful man this is one of my this is my favorite portion one of my all-time favorite cars look at that thing man that thing is nasty looking so enough delay in admiring the car, let's go ahead and jump up in it. Let's push this sucker to the limits. First place for this event gives us $40,000. Really good money. starts and that's a uh, neutral sign it's still green you will get a perfect launch perfect launches increase your speed right off the bat and allow you to catch up to the other racers a lot quicker so look at how fast this thing is going man this car oh my god i'm in love with it this is a four hundred thousand dollar vehicle in real life it's one of the best cars in the world this thing is no joke Trying to get up into first place as fast as possible so we can get that clean lap. Eight hundred profile points. Now all we need is sixteen hundred for the second star objective, and then we need to do that clean lap once we're in first place. Look at this thing handle these 
curves. This is this is a beautiful piece of machinery, man. Oh no, that car spun me out. And he still got back ahead of me. That's not cool. Oh man, I'm in love with this car, man. I can't wait to buy it in this game. This is definitely going to be a car that I buy in this game. I'm thinking I'm going to buy the Carrera GT, the Bugatti, the Pagni Zonda, the Cognizag, and the Camaro, Z or the Corvette Z06. Them are my main cars that I want to get. So I'm going to have to stack a tremendous amount of money to get them all. Right now we're almost at 1.5 million. really want to catch up here. Oh my, look at that. That is dirty, man. This freaking yellow driver, he is such an asshole, man. He does not want you to pass him. We're going on the second lap. Let me see if I can get a clean lap on this race. I'm still not in first place, but I'm going to try to get a clean lap. So we can get that star objective. Man, this thing is serious, man. We're catching up, though. There we go. Now we're in second. Yeah, we should have more than enough time to get into first place on this lap. So if we don't get the uh, clean lap, we should be able to get it. Uh, on the next lap, no problem. Once we get into first place, it's a lot easier because you don't have to worry about them. There it is, first place. You don't have to worry about the other vehicles ramming you off the road. We just took first. Now let me see if I can get this clean lap. I don't believe I've been off the track on this lap. I might be mistaken though. I, I didn't see the clean sector on the top left hand corner. Man, this thing takes turns like a beauty, man. God, I love it. I'm trying to master these corners for a uh, a bunch of uh, driver points, as well as master badges. God, I love this car. Really steep S curve coming up. Let's see if we get that, uh, let's see if we get that clean lap here. Coming up on the uh, finish line to start a new lap. Hopefully we got it. If not, we can definitely get it on this uh, go around. Nope, we sure didn't. Alright, we got one more chance to get that clean lap. I'm going to be extra careful here. our clean sector. Taking it nice and easy. This is 
our last chance to get that clean lap star objective. one hell of a race we got plenty of uh, driver points hopefully we can get uh, another driver level up here and we're just shy of the next driver level however first place got us forty thousand dollars we got a master badge for drifting and we got five out of six stars however we did not get the clean lap but we did get a best lap time of two minutes and 32 sec or 36 seconds really fast very nice and ladies and gentlemen that takes care of the invitational event and we unlocked a new invitational event, <clears throat> which is the CCX versus the Zonda R. So it looks like we got yet another invitational event that we need to do. The CCX versus the Zonda R, but that takes care of the Carrera GT race at SBA GP. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, we'll be back on the next episode to get the CCX versus the Zonda R Inventational event out of the way. It always seems like something pops up to prevent us from going to Tier 2, but we need to stick to it. All these Inventational events are going to be completed before we move on. <laughs>